You've probably heard that bees are nature's little helpers, buzzing around pollinating flowers and making honey. But hold on tight, because we're about to dive into the jaw-dropping truths about the dark side of honeybee society. Spoiler alert, it's not all sweet and sticky in the hive. Let's start with a bombshell. Worker bees aren't always loyal subjects to their queen. In fact, these tiny rebels sometimes stage a royal coup. That's right, if Her Majesty isn't pulling her weight, she might find herself dethroned faster than you can say, Honey, I'm home. But how do these pint sized assassins decide when it's time for regicide? Check this out worker bees are constantly monitoring their queen's productivity. If she's not laying enough eggs or her pheromone game is weak, the workers start plotting. They'll stop feeding her, harass her, and even sting her to death. Talk about workplace drama. It's like Game of Thrones meets a bug's life. And the queen better watch her thorax. But wait, there's more. The hive isn't just a monarchy. It's a battlefield of secret chemical warfare. Who knew bees were such sneaky little spies? Worker bees engage in covert pheromone wars, using scent signals to manipulate the colony's behavior. It's like they're playing among us with invisible ink. These crafty insects can produce pheromones that mimic the queens, tricking their sisters into thinking everything's hunky-dory when it's actually chaos central. They'll use these chemical weapons to suppress other workers' egg-laying or even convince the colony it's time to raise a new queen. It's not your average office politics. It's full-on espionage with six legs and a stinger. Now, let's talk about swarming. You might think it's just a bunch of bees going crazy, but it's actually a carefully orchestrated exodus that would make Moses jealous. When a colony gets too big for its britches or hive, about half the workers and the old queen peace out to find new digs. But here's the kicker. This mass bee exodus isn't just a spontaneous decision. It's planned weeks in advance. Scout bees go house hunting, doing the 18th century equivalent of scrolling through Zillow. When they find the perfect spot, they come back and do a waggle dance to convince their sisters. It's like a tiny, winged real estate agency. The swarm itself is a sight to behold. Thousands of bees swirling through the air in what looks like complete chaos. But don't be fooled. This airborne armada is following a strict flight plan. It's like watching the world's smallest, fuzziest flash mob. Now, brace yourself for the brutal truth about honey production. You might want to sit down for this one. Some bee species take the phrase sweet victory way too literally. These honey bandits raid other colonies, stealing their precious nectar stashes and sometimes even enslaving the defeated bees. That's right, there are bee species that practice slavery. They'll invade another hive, kidnap pupae, and raise them as their own workforce. It's like Taken, but with more buzz and less Liam Neeson. These slave maker bees are the pirates of the insect world, pillaging and plundering their way through the neighborhood hives. And let's not forget about the poor drones. These male bees have one job, mate with a queen. Sounds cushy, right? Wrong. After they do the deed, they literally explode and die. Talk about going out with a bang. It's nature's most extreme example of love him and leave him. So, next time you see a bee buzzing by, remember, you're not just looking at a cute little pollinator. You're witnessing a tiny gladiator in a complex society full of intrigue, betrayal, and survival of the fittest. It's a world where chemical warfare, regicide, and slavery are just par for the course. But here's the thing. As brutal as bee society can be, it's also incredibly fascinating and vital to our ecosystem. These little insects, with all their drama and darkness, play a crucial role in keeping our world blooming and beautiful. So while we might be shocked by their cutthroat ways, we've got to respect their hustle and the delicate balance they maintain in nature. Who knew that such small creatures could pack so much punch? The honeybee world is a reminder that nature is full of surprises, and sometimes the sweetest things come with a sting. So the next time you drizzle honey on your toast, spare a thought for the tiny Game of Thrones playing out in hives everywhere. It's a wild world out there, folks, even in the smallest of places.